bro, we got this. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Adam here with Bra We Got This, and I'm bringing you guys a new video, um, a new series, a new game. Um, it's definitely not new, though. It's a very old game, but this is my um, 99 cooking guide on RuneScape 2007. And I've played RuneScape for eight years. Um, they had the original game is RS3. And a lot of people don't like it because uh, they changed the uh, the combat system to Evolution of Combat. Um, they did a lot of stuff that just did not go over well with a lot of the fans of the game. And so about two and a half years ago, they created this game, which is set uh, pre-2007 RuneScape era, which was like the prime of RuneScape in which everyone loved playing the game. And so I'm going to be doing some guides for this game. I'm also going to be streaming it. Um, you know, if this gets success, I'll, I'll keep, you know, putting other kinds of videos out, but mainly right now, just guides and some streams. Um, but to start off the guide, um, let's start off with the requirements that I believe you need before you want to start cooking at 99. Um, this is going to be split up into two, uh, two different styles of the guide. So to start off, um, it's highly recommended that you have level 50 thieving so you can get into the rogues den which we'll see later um that you've completed family crest so you can get the cooking gauntlets and you've completed recipe for disaster so you can use the bank in the basement of lumbridge castle if you if you want to use that method um but the first two methods are definitely the most recommended by me um the gauntlets what it does is um say you had the gauntlets on you're cooking sharks you would stop burning them at 94 but if you didn't have the gauntlets on you'd stop burning them never so you couldn't ever stop burning them and another little note is uh in at the lumberage castle the range there gives you a 10 percent chance of uh 10 percent chance less of burning food um so it's like the second best place apparently to cook food uh if you like but to start off the first part of how I'm setting up this guide, um, we're going to talk about uh, levels 1 through 40 um, because I'm breaking it down as level 3 uh, skillers or peers um, and then everyone else because level 3 skillers and peers might not, you know, they probably can't do family crest. I don't exactly remember the other. Yeah, you have to have 58 magic um, to do it. So, yeah, I mean, they're not going to be able to do that quest, so they're not going to be able to get the cooking gauntlets. Um, so it's going to be broken up into level three for level threes and for everyone else. So from one to 40, it's pretty much the same for everyone. You just buy raw fish from the Grand Exchange um, and just cook the best that you can. Like, you know, so you could start off in Drainer. And if you want to get your fishing up, you could start here in Drainer. Um and cook or fish shrimp whatever you want to do but buy shrimp cook it buy uh herring then buy uh trout then buy salmon then buy uh tuna and cook it all to level 40. so then after you get to level 40 this is where i'm going to start off the guide for the level threes and for the level threes uh you're not gonna be able to do recipe for disaster obviously but the second best place to cook for you know anyone that doesn't have the cooking gauntlets is lumbered so you can bank at the top of the castle but if you've done the quest you can bank at the bottom of the castle um which is closer to the range but if you go to this range you'll see it in the, in the the you know the kitchen um that is where you can cook uh you know 10 percent less or you can burn food 10 percent less um so for level threes um, you're want to you're gonna want to do lobster from Lord 40 to 45 and then you're gonna want to do swordfish from 45 to 62 and then you're just gonna do monkfish from 62 to 99 and the reason you're not doing lobsters longer swordfish longer is because first of all lobsters are the worst thing to do for cooking because you're gonna lose the worst money right now I think you're gonna lose about 20 GP per lobster um, if, uh, per the grand exchange prices right now um, so you're gonna lose about 20 GP per lobster right now, and then swordfish you're technically gaining 
10 GP, but you have to also put into account you're going to burn some. So you're going to break about even to about um, making a tiny bit of profit uh, once you don't burn as many. Um, but then when you get to monkfish, monkfish are awesome because you're going to you're gonna stop burning them at 90, but you're not going to burn as many when you get in the 80 range. Um, and it's going to take level threes about... 80, or it's going to take exactly 84,617 from 62 to 99. And you're going to make, give or take, 6.3 mil profit. Like like I said, you're going to burn some. So around 6, six mil profit, which is great. Um, you know, I, I don't see why you wouldn't want to do this. So that's, that's the guide for the level threes. Um, now for everyone else, this is where you need to be. This is the rogue's den. Um, you teleport with the Bertha games ne- uh, games necklace and you run to Bertha you can bank with emerald and you can cook on the fire it's the fastest way to get 99 cooking um, you need to have the cooking gauntlets because if you're if you're not a level three you're capable of getting the cooking gauntlets um, and for you guys you're gonna want to do pretty much the same thing up to level 80. So you're gonna want to do lobster 40 to 45, swordfish 45 to 62, monk's fish 62 to 80, which is gonna be around 10,000, I believe, um, monkfish, and you'll make some money from that. But once you hit 80, you want to do sharks 80 to 99. This is the best way to uh, to get 99 cooking in the game. Um, a lot of people think, oh, you need to wait till like 90 before you do sharks. No, do not wait till 90. Do it at level 80. From level 80 to uh, with the cooking gauntlets to 99, I burnt uh, right under 1K sharks. That's all I burnt. And I made I made like 6 to 7 mil profit. And with today's prices, um, you're going to cook 52,612 sharks from 80 to 99 and you're going to make um after burning a little bit of those you'll make roughly eight mil profit and this is the fastest way to 99 uh for cooking um you know it is so simple and a lot of people just don't do it because they think it's like a noob skill they think it's dumb because you know you know it's it's just a waste of time some people think you know i don't want to get an easy 99 but the whole the whole my whole issue with that is is this took me one week to get i know life did if you don't know life it you're gonna it's gonna take you about two weeks you can get 200 to 400k experience a day easily you can get 1 million experience a day which i got some days but you can get 200 to 400k experience a day by playing a couple hours by doing sharks it's it's that simple but it's a skill that is so easy that you can just afk watch a show Watch a movie, do whatever you want, and just sit there and bank, and sit there and bank, and sit there and bank, and you're making eight mil in like two weeks. I mean, if you want to buy like a piece of armor, if you want to buy something for another skill, you know what a great way to make the money that you, very easily. It takes not a lot of time, and you make eight mil. It's it's so easy. You make better money now than when I did it. So. That is really my key point is do not start sharks later. Start them at 80 because you really don't burn that many with cooking gauntlets. Um, but this is my guide, guys. Um, you know, if I have any tips for you guys while you do it, like I said, watch shows, watch movies, multitask. Don't just sit there and cook and bank and cook unless you're talking to someone in game. That will be boring, obviously. Do something else. Do something fun uh, while you do this because it, it it doesn't take a lot of clicks to do it. So there's are some tips I could give you. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the guide. Um, it's a simple guide. Um, if you guys have any feedback, let me know in the comments so you know I can improve it. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing... Uh, different guides for runescape and a couple and i'm gonna be streaming it um and if if these are popular videos i will i'll do different kinds of videos as well um but make sure you uh if you guys liked it like it and share the video um check out all of our social media links uh we got facebook twitter twitch um all probably got this and that's gonna do it for this video and i will see you guys later bye